obviously there's a big change uh, and a big area that we want to address today, and that's specialists. Yeah, and I mean, I think, you know, we've talked about this a lot. I think, you know, this isn't the easiest topic, but I think the, the key for us is that we've heard you. 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 I mean, we're not walking away from specialists. They're a key part of 2042. I mean, we're not walking away from specialists. They're a key part of 2042. When I tell you being a Battlefield fan today absolutely sucks, I'm not lying. I'm not joking. I'm not kidding. That is 110% the truth. I cannot even show you guys any Battlefield 2042 footage without getting absolutely sick to my stomach. I'm just going to be showcasing some goaded Modern Warfare 2 clips. But listening to this development, you know, overview, their, their blog basically, talking about what their plans are for the future of this franchise and this game, it just left me so confused in so many ways. Like, for example, the content. Apparently, it is extremely important to them, extremely important to DICE, that the community will be able to get enough stuff that we will be able to play and have a unique, enjoyable experience every single time that we log on to this title. Yet, we're getting one new map this season? I mean, maybe this will change later down the road. I mean, this has happened in the past. You know, usually, like, with Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, the first update will be, like, one map. But there's only going to be four seasons in this game how many maps do you expect to release within each one of these seasons especially if the first one is only going to start out with one now i gotta admit while they are lacking with bringing us new content they are revamping the current maps of their game and they showcased all of them pretty much in their blog post like i said you guys should definitely check it out they posted it on pretty much everything on their twitter account and i'm positive you could probably find it on any of their other social medias but once again they showcased kaleidoscope and they actually showed a lot of different points of interest that they didn't show previously and i gotta say the map is forming up to look tremendously better and they also showcased off renewal a map that i actually really enjoy in the first place but all of the changes that they made within renewal are definitely appreciated i gotta say each and everything that they have done to these maps and they're still not done there's still a lot of work to be done but so far what they have done this will definitely change the flow of combat when it comes to you know every single match that you play within battlefield 2042 and on top of that they're changing all the flag rotations within conquest to make sure the flow is a lot better that plus a good you know cover and good flow is going to make for a lot better gameplay so I gotta admit, I am pretty excited to see what they're gonna do with the rest of the maps in the rotation, but that does not excuse them from not releasing any new content into their game. Especially since only one map, Kaleidoscope, is gonna be renewed by the time Season 1 comes out, do you know how long it's gonna take for them to renew the rest of the maps in this game and get them out in the full release? It's going to be much easier just to release new, you know, official maps into the rotation that they have created that will hopefully just be better than the base maps, but if we're only getting one, it's going to be a massive problem with Season 1 coming around the corner. Nobody's going to stay for very long. They're going to hop on, they're going to play the game, they're going to try out the new map, they'll play two matches, maybe three if they're feeling a little better, and then they're going to hop off and not touch the game for a while, you know? Now, for the first time in a long time, since obviously every other development team has been able to release one of these for their own titles, but for some strange reason, DICE can't put one out for Battlefield 2042, but finally, finally, we got ourselves a roadmap. Now, I'm going to flash it up on the screen just a little bit, but I'm just going to go over it, you know, one by one, step by step, and uh, basically tell you guys... <laughs> Our wonderful future that we're going to have within Battlefield 2042. Now, obviously, May 4.1 update. We already saw that breakthrough 64 players. But in June, there's actually going to be an animation improvement overhaul. And I got to say, I, this is, this is going to be some positive news. I know, surprise, surprise. But the animations actually look a lot better, a lot cleaner. Like I said, I highly suggest you guys go check out the video. It's unlisted, so, you know, I can't go ahead and download it and show it to you guys on screen right now. But I'll gladly leave the link to that video down in the description. But that's really all we're going to see throughout all of those months is that. So if one of the main things that you wanted to see, you know, new maps or renewed maps, you know, special changes to the maps or just changes to specialists. If that's what you wanted to see, if that's going to bring you back to Battlefield 2042, then guess what? <laughs> oh, you are in for a treat. I mean, shoot, what are we even going to get in Season 1 that's going to bring people back? If it's only one new map, nobody's coming back for the new specialist. Nobody wants to do that. So probably just the new weapons, the new vehicles that should have been in the game since, you know, day one. The game might actually feel a little bit like how it should have at launch. <laughs> we had to wait all this time for that. And the new Kaleidoscope remake isn't even coming until late 
of season one not even in the beginning you know initially i thought they're going to put it right at the launch of season one we're going to have a new map and basically instead of having you know two new maps they're going to release you know the new version of kaleidoscope and that'll be considered a second bat but no it's it's coming in late august that's what we're getting so instead of you know like call of duty getting a remaster map instead of them you know making new maps there were master maps to give new content instead of us getting a remaster for battlefield no we get a new version of kaleidoscope in late august that we have to wait pretty much three months in order to get and then after waiting all of these months finally finally we'll get to see season two which will come with the renewal map update so yeah there you there you have it basically you're getting one map one map update per season so <laughs> At this rate, you tell me when all of the maps are going to get, you know, finally overhauled. And then finally, at the very, 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 very end at the list, this shows you the importance that this holds in DICE's, you know, hearts right now. They are finally going to do the specialist look and feel updates. And again, we don't even know when this is going to be coming in Season 2. You know, they always say these things like, but the Kaleidoscope map update, you know, we didn't know when it was coming within Season 1. They told us, hey, in Season 1, there's going to be a Kaleidoscope update. But now, as we see, it's at the very end of Season 1. So I'm assuming the specialist look and feel update is going to be at the very end. So I'm assuming we're going to be waiting at least from this date, you know, today. We're probably going to be waiting around six months, maybe possibly seven months until the specialists finally get worked on and then this is what they think that we want to see this is what the developers think is how we feel about their specialists yeah i understand the atmosphere of the game is really rough but people don't hate the specialists because of this they hate the specialists because it's not the class system nobody wants to believe me but i promise you guys they are going to try everything in their power to work around the specialist system they will not just, you know, simply throw back in the classes. They can't do that. You know, they're already saying that within season one, we're going to get a new specialist. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to do everything <laughs> to try to keep them in this game. So I don't think anybody is truly going to be satisfied with season one and what we're going to have to play here. I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to hop on the game. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to be interested in trying out the new map and seeing what weapons they introduce into the game and stuff like that and also the new animations. But with all honesty, only seeing one new revamped map with each season. And so far, all we know, it's only going to be like one new new map within every single season. That's not enough to keep anybody interested within this game. You could tell the hype is slowly dying down. And I'm actually going to make a completely separate video about this. But pretty much, Hazard Zone is cut from production they're not even going to stress about it worry about it or do anything with hazard zone anymore like i said it's pretty huge news i'm going to actually make a completely separate topic about that one i just couldn't believe the direction they're trying to take within that video it seemed like every single thing that they said they completely countered it afterwards like saying that they understood us about the specialists but then going ahead and saying that specialists are never going to leave the game it just doesn't make any logical sense and then going ahead and showcasing that this is their massive big change so far now they did state that they can't mention any of the big big things that they're doing for the specialists right now they're still trying to you know form a path and form a plan to make sure you know it settles down correctly but uh, like i said looks yeah you know it's like yeah i'm not gonna get mad if they change the looks of some of these specialists they can look a little bit more you know battle torn but that's not the main reason why people hate it and the fact that dice just won't open up and admit it because they know it trust me they know it we have been very loud we've been very vocal they know exactly exactly what they want but they will not say it have you noticed that through all these interviews and all the times that they mention specialists, they will never say that, hey, you know, we understand that the community just don't like them. They just want the class system. But we can't do that, so we have to do this for Battlefield 24 Dude, They don't say that. They try to beat around the bush and try to say, you know, we understand you guys. We get you guys. So we're going to do this, this, and that. You know, we're going to change the looks. But they never say that they're just going to completely remove them or, you know, looking into the future for the next game, they're going to take specialists out. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, go down in the comment section and leave your opinions down below. What do you guys think about this new post here? Do you guys think that the Battle Pass and, you know, the new season and all this new stuff is going to keep you interested in Battlefield 2042? Or <laughs> have you already ditched the game? I know tons of people who just completely said already, the second the game came out, said, yep, this is not for me. And trust me, if you're one of those people, you have not missed out on absolutely anything. It's the best possible decision you could have made. But like I said, as a content creator, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try it out. As always, I'll probably 
probably live stream all the new content when it comes out. And I'll keep you guys updated on a day-to-day -day basis on what's going on with this game. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me this tweet, do so on Twitter and Discord, put the link in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams for video games, do it on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you all next one. Peace out.